Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 59. In this training module, we're going to be exploring using our flat shift feature using a clutch switch. So this is going to be either you have a dog box transmission or a synchro based transmission. You want to do full throttle shifting. We have to go through some programming and setup. We're going to learn how to do that here in this tutorial in order to implement this properly. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at setting up our flat shift, also known as shift cut, within our Haltech Elite using our NSP software. Now, when we want to implement a shift cut or a flash shift, this is going to be when we want to have a momentary power interruption to reduce the engine's output, specifically the torque output, in order to make sure that we unload the transmission and unload the drivetrain so that when we're doing a full throttle shift, we're not shifting against the engine's power output and torque output. This unloads the drivetrain, unloads the transmission, and makes our mechanical components last much, much longer under these very stressful conditions. Now, full throttle shifting can make you much quicker around a racetrack or down a drag strip. And on a turbocharged engine, for example, on a drag strip with a big turbo, it keeps you up in your power bin because you're not lifting your throttle. When you do that, you'll drop out of boost considerably. So with a big turbo that has late spool, this keeps us in the power bin, essentially allows us to make very, very quick passes at the quarter mile because we're not losing any acceleration between our gear shift. On a racetrack, let's say your road race car, this allows you to constantly make your upshifts, being able to do this without having to come off the throttle again, not losing that acceleration as you're going around track, that adding all of your shifts up, if you're able to do full throttle shifting, will definitely give you a drop in your lapping times. So when we wanna work with a full throttle shift, the shift cut, flat shift, is what we need to configure. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how we can integrate a clutch switch or a flat shift switch, same idea, same concept, within the Haltech here to be able to turn on the shift cut feature. We're not gonna be working with a load cell strain gauge input that you would find typically on a dog box transmission or sequential transmission. This is keeping it simple. So this would be a manual synchro transmission that you might wanna do your full throttle shifting, flat shifting, um, or it could even be a dog box transmission that you simply don't have a load cell or strain gauge input. So we're able to accomplish this task just based on our clutch pedal movement. And we can use a simple on-off toggle switch in order to achieve that. Now programming configuration is completely different based on load cell strain gauge input versus a clutch switch, which is why I wanted to have the specific tutorial talking about this concept, how we're programming it, how we're setting it up. We'll take a look at the load cell strain gauge in the next tutorial, but just to keep things simple and introduce this a concept of this flat shift shift cut. I wanted to start off with this very basic example and walk you through the process here from start to finish. So let's take a look at configuring this. First thing we're gonna do is move from our fuel tuning page over into our main. And here we'll go to our navigation tree and then we'll jump down here under our transmission. This is where we turn on our flat shift feature. We go here and expand this out and take a look here under transmission. If we move over here into functions, if we go all the way down our list, the very last function here is flat shift. We wanna to toggle this on, which then turns on the flat shift feature here in our window, all the way at the bottom. Let me go ahead and reboot the Haltech here real quick. Going down here into flat shift, we'll expand it out, and we'll jump in here to the actual flat shift configuration window. This is where we need to program some specific things, and this is going to be based on how we're programming and working with a flat shift, whether we're using clutch switch, whether we're using a strain gauge load cell or other types of configurations. So if you're doing a sequential transmission with paddle shifters, the mode here, for example, would be set to closed loop because you're more than likely on that type of transmission going to have an actual gear position sensor and we can be very specific of how we're controlling the torque cut and the torque reintroduction within that specific mode, within that specific transmission type. Again, this is just the most simplistic, open loop, basic way to have a full throttle shift or shift cut set up and enabled here for the whole tech. So the mode is the first thing we need to consider. Now here, we're gonna go under mode and we have our options, closed loop while active timed. Closed loop would be for that sequential style transmission that we have a gear position sensor. Um, it's a completely different routine here, so I'm not gonna cover it right now. The timed option, is more commonly used when we have the sequential transmission or we have a dog box transmission and we're running a strain gauge load cell 
Timed allows us to have the actual shift event timed per gear. We'll get into what that means in the next tutorial. While active is what we want to choose here for a clutch switch style full throttle shift, flat shift option here. So every time we go in and clutch in, as long as we're clutched in for, is as long as it's going to cut out the power output from the engine. So the while timed or while active is going to be the option we choose. Now, a couple other things we need to talk about here. Max shift time. This is set here for 2,000 milliseconds. What this is saying is 2,000 milliseconds, two seconds. It's going to say that when we're activating... Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.